coming up. As the first combat jet fighter took to the skies in 1944, it marked a new era for air combat where allied pilots across the skies were filled with fear as they watched this new aircraft without propellers soar past them and wreak havoc on their fighters and bombers with its powerful cannons. In this video, we will take a look at the highest scoring ME-262 ace of the Second World War and, in particular, the devastation that he caused in the skies of Europe to so many American pilots in the P-51 Mustang. Hey guys, TJ here, and before I tell you about this story of the deadliest Messerschmitt ME-262 ace of the entire war, one of the only things that ages better than these fantastic stories from history is a nice bottle of wine. And nobody does a better job of getting the best wine in your hands than Bright Cellars, the sponsor of this video. In case you don't know, Bright Cellars is a really cool service that gets you hooked up with wines that are individually selected for you. First, go to their website, take their unique wine preference quiz, and then they'll match you with a few great bottles of wine, and pretty soon you'll be getting a monthly package of wines that you are bound to love. In case you don't believe me, here is me opening up my package that Bright Cellars sent me. And even if you don't love one, they have a great wine concierge team that will get you a replacement sent absolutely free. And best of all, right now, Bright Cellars is offering 60% off the first bottle box for TJ3 History viewers. So if this sounds like something for you, head over to brightcellars.com slash TJ3History and use promo code TJ3History to get your discount. Now, without further ado, enjoy the story of the highest scoring ME-262 ace of World War II. As the Allies push in on Germany from all sides in 1944, the German Luftwaffe needed something spectacular to try and fend off the heavy air attacks that were pushing deeper and deeper into the Rhineland. Although the BF-109s and Focke-Wulf 190s were great aircraft, their pilots and resources were running low, so the German air forces desperately needed some sort of secret weapon to try and turn the tide of war. Their attempted ace in the hole would be the first combat-ready jet fighter, the Messerschmitt ME-262. Although it would eventually turn out to be too little too late for Germany, there were a handful of Luftwaffe pilots who were able to wreak havoc among Allied fighters and bombers in this futuristic aircraft. These select few would devastate American and British pilots and put fear into the minds of many as they faced this new kind of adversary. Because of the record keeping at the time, it can sometimes be difficult to pinpoint and accurately estimate the total number of kills that pilots made while flying the ME-262 as opposed to other aircraft, so there is some debate as to who is the top jet ace. But we have done our best based on historians' notes and combat records from the time. So with that being said, let's take a look at the top scoring Messerschmitt ME-262 ace Franz Schall and relive his story. Born in 1918 in Austria-Hungary, Franz Schall joined the Luftwaffe after the start of World War II. He was just 23 when he joined the conflict and saw his first combat in the Eastern Front when he participated in the Battle of Kursk. He claimed his first victories in May of 1943 when he would down two Soviet LA-5 fighters while flying the BF-109. After this, he would continue to devastate enemy fighters across the front, destroying particularly high counts of IL-2s as well as P-39s. Just one year later, his tally had surpassed a total of 50 kills and he was quickly rising among the ranks of the German aces. Fighting across Poland in the late summer of 1944 led to his most prolific period of combat when he would surpass 100 total kills in the war. Dates of particular note during this time were 11 kills that he scored on the 26th of August, achieving the rare double ace in a day, and 13 more kills on the 31st of August, just five days later. In this five-day span, he would claim a total of 27 enemy aircraft destroyed, and 20 of these would be the famed Soviet IL-2 Sturmovik. After this bout of success, there was no doubt that he was one of the best pilots in the Luftwaffe. Because of his newly found level of notoriety and accomplishment in these weeks, he was moved to the Specialist Unit Commando Novotny, 
the newly formed group that was assigned to test and establish tactics for the new Messerschmitt Me-262 jet fighter. The German commanders had hoped this new group would help fine-tune this secret weapon and help turn the tide of war since the Allies were beginning to overwhelm the Luftwaffe with superior numbers. During the course of assignments for this group, the attrition rate for the 262 would be high and many pilots struggled to learn the aircraft. In addition, the overall success rate of the jet would not meet the high expectations that aces like Adolf Galland had for the fighter. Schall, however, would show that in the right hands it could be a deadly weapon and may have potential after all. After learning to fly the 262 in just a few weeks in September of 1944, he would see his first combat in the first week of October. On the 7th of that month, Shaw and a single wingman were scrambled to intercept a large bomber formation headed to their area. Just after 1 p.m., the pair attacked a large formation of B-24 Liberators, where they would each claim one of the four engine bombers destroyed. This was a major win for Commando Novotny, as it was the first victories to be credited to the unit. Just a few weeks after this, Shaw would learn, however, that his favorite target in the Messerschmitt Me-262 would actually be American fighters instead of the four-engine bombers. On October 28th, he would take down his first P-51 Mustang in a dogfight over Germany. Just one week later, he would add another P-47 to this list, claiming one of the Thunderbolts over Lake Dumer. These would be the first American fighters that he would claim while flying the new jet fighter. In this short time, it had become very apparent that Shaw was settling into his new role very well. On November 8th, however, the layout of Commando Novotny was forever changed. On this day, Shaw would take down three more American P-51s, making him an ace in the Me-262 and one of the first pilots to achieve that rare title. But after claiming this third Mustang of the day, he would experience engine failure and would be an easy target for American fighters who were hungry to get revenge on the German ace. He would be shot down while attempting to glide his fighter back to a friendly airbase. When attempting to land, especially without an engine, the Me-262 was particularly vulnerable to attack due to the long approach that it was forced to make. Luckily for Schall, however, he was able to successfully bail out of his 262 and was picked up by friendly forces in the area shortly after. He would make it back to his base, but unfortunately for his unit, other pilots would not be so lucky. During this same day of combat, group leader Walter Novotny, the famed German ace for which their unit was named, would be shot down and killed. This would be a detrimental blow to Commando Novotny, and after this, Shaw would not see combat for a few months. In March of 1945, however, he would move to a new unit, which saw him assigned as their leader. Upon being able to take to the skies again, Shaw quickly resumed his aggressive kill count. He claimed another P-51 Mustang on March 18th while intercepting a bombing raid. The following day, he claimed a B-17 bomber to make it his seventh kill while flying the 262. Over the next two weeks, he would continue to wreak havoc among American forces, claiming five more American Mustangs and three more four-engine bombers. It appeared that he was unstoppable, and he was leading his unit to astounding success rates. In addition to his own kill counts, in these missions his group also claimed a high number of victories, including an impressive 19 four-engine bombers destroyed on the 31st of March alone. As the German forces were nearing surrender, however, it appeared that Shaw's fate was also sealed as well. On the 10th of April of 1945, Shaw took part in a dogfight over Germany once again. In this encounter, he claimed his 12th and final P-51 Mustang destroyed. But this would be the end of the good fortunes for Franz Schall. After this engagement, either from damage in the dogfight or possibly from simple engine failure, the German ace would not be able to make it all the way home. Instead, he was forced to try and make an emergency landing en route to his home base. He attempted this landing at a different German airbase, which, unlike his home airfield, had been pounded by American bombers. 
Because of this, the airfield had bomb craters spread throughout the runway. While attempting to land his ME 262 fighter, Shaw would hit one of the craters, and his aircraft would roll over and explode, killing the famed German pilot. At the end of his career, his tally would be 137 Allied aircraft destroyed, including 18 victories while flying his German jet fighter. This impressive tally would make him the highest scoring German ace in the Messerschmitt ME 262. Following this, German forces would surrender, ending the war less than one month after his death. I hope you enjoyed this historic recreation. If you want to support my content, please check out my fan store here or the Patreon link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.